Psalms, um, something which is really quite beautiful, um, which we do from time to time at, at Clear Mountain, is actually invite people who have been tapping in to different aspects of the community, coming on Saturdays or Zooming in, whether it's the morning group meditations, the after gr afternoon group meditations, um, Wednesday evenings, different events, coming, offering food on alms round, uh, people actually coming up and sharing their experience. So um, in a similar spirit to something that um, kind of our grandfather teacher, Lumpur Cha, actually today is his birthday, I believe the anniversary of his birthday. And uh, in his biography, it said that in the very early days of his monastery, he would actually invite some of the elder uh, village people who were coming to the monastery actually to get up and, um, yeah, talk talk about what um, the Dhamma was meaning to them. And um, in that spirit and in just wanting, um, yeah, it's not just the monks. It's not just the nuns who make a monastery. It really takes the, um, you know, it takes a larger community. It takes lay people. It takes monks. It's a... Uh, interaction. So we are going to open things up, um, but rather than having like an all-night Dhamma talk um, from anybody, we're actually going to maybe keep it to a minute um, <laughs> going around. And Kim uh, on our board is actually, she's got a, uh, a bell, so <laughs> actually you don't have to think about it as a gong, but uh, it's just a, a mindful bell. Um, and do we have a mic or a maybe a mic runner that would be great maybe okay so um we uh, have about 15 minutes or so although we'll see how it goes um but uh if you hear the bell uh you don't have to stop immediately just <laughs> it's good <laughs> Although it's going to be hard not to stop. <laughs> um, and what we uh, were hoping people could speak to is just um, what this community has meant to you, what your hopes are, and uh, I think this is a good chance to really rejoice in, in that. So just raise your hand, uh, say your name, and just, yeah, what this community has, has meant to you so far. And uh, we'll pass the mic hi hither and thither. And uh, let's actually have one more mindful mic runner to take this one. Um, and that way we can have one on the other side of the room to make it a bit easier. And if you're on Zoom, you can always raise your electronic hand and we can pipe you through the speakers. Start, let's start over here. Hi, I'm Cynthia. Um, I did want to say something about this food that we thought we were giving to somebody, but there is no somebody to give it to. So um, <laughs> if anybody wants to take some and find somebody to give it to, that'd be great. But the tent city that we thought we were handing this food off to actually doesn't exist yet. So or something, something. But what I wanted to say was having the male and female voices chanting today was amazing. <laughs> and I just so appreciate that. Everybody's, you know, we have a fourfold sangha here today. And that's all I had to say. Hi. Um, my name is Doug, and um, thank you so much for the monastics and those of you who've traveled far and those of you who haven't traveled so far but in certain ways have traveled far. And uh, I'm so touched and I'm, uh, it's the community, it's you all. And that's, that's what's come together and it just, I cannot express what it feels like to come home to here. So thank you everybody. Joseph, you can go ahead and speak. Thank you. Um, 
I just wanted to share with um, uh, Lumpur Pasano. Um, I just wanted to clarify, are you the preceptor of Bhante Sudhaso? In, uh, did you, yes? I just wanted to say thank you so much for doing that. Um, <laughs> uh, I went to visit Empty Cloud and um, he was very kind and I wanted to have this opportunity to thank the teacher of my teacher um, and the Empty Cloud and the Clear Mountain community have been just so incredibly kind. I get overwhelmed with how they represent the the Sangha. And so I just, I, I made a little kind of Sangha as an expression of thanks in the form of a, a, a mantra that I will then translate. Om Fala Surya Prabha Padma Sudha Yam Sa. O fruits, sunshine, flowers, and nectar, radiating from the heart, shared with joy in fields of welcome. May all beings be blessed by the warm of good. I think I beat you to it. Okay. Charles, I got, Charles, I trumped you here. <laughs> yeah, hi. Um, well, the first word that we taught um, Ajahn Misabo to say as a child was deferred gratification. And look what happened. <laughs> he couldn't say it very well, but this, this is not deferred gratification. This is an amazing, I mean, I think children come fully loaded and you know, I could say I'm a proud parent, but it's not that. It's it's you all, and it's it was meant to be. And oh my gosh, we are so happy to be part of this community, and look forward to much more time together and studying the Dhamma together and savoring and bringing goodness to each other. <clears throat> well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Charles. It's such a <clears throat> delight to be here um, <clears throat> for yeah, a variety of uh, reasons. I was an uh, alcoholic uh, when I was 11. And now that I'm 70, I can say I've been sober for uh, over 14 years. When I reflect on the uh, uh, arising of the Dom in my life, it's... Um, I hear, I hear two choruses. One chorus is Amazing Grace, <laughs> and the other chorus is The Highest Blessings. And I can't think of a, a greater blessing, so thank you. It's my turn now. <laughs> it's your turn now. <laughs> so, Masakan, uh, Satan. I. I thought I'm not going to say anything because I talk too much, I think. <laughs> uh, so I just want to say very thank you very, very much to all the community that come. I was give a job as a kitchen head, head, head people who take care of the food. And I'm so concerned that will it be enough food for anybody? <laughs> no. So, and I told my friends, I said, please come, please come, everybody I know, please bring the food, bring me the food. But it's overwhelming when we saw the food on the table. And then thank you to the restaurant in Seattle, or a friend who bring more than one dish, and all, who all prepare for this, and thank you, the, 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 the people who plan and organize do the shopping for all of this. The most thank you is Tanachan Nisako, because he planned everything, scheduled everything for us, and do this, do this, do this. So it seemed like my job so a piece of cake <laughs> con con compared to his job. So I want to say thank you to everyone who come here, everyone who bring the food, everyone who 
come here. I, I think I, I, this is the best day of my life this year. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this year, Thank maybe you. next year, maybe better. <laughs> Sadi, sadi, sadi. Okay, we have somebody online. Holly, would you like to speak? Well, it's just been a joy to see and all the lay people and the fourfold sangha. And it just brings great balance and joy to my heart, uh, uh, breadth and depth. And I have read, if I remember right, what the Buddha wanted was the fourfold sangha to carry Buddhism forward and thrive. And I believe we're thriving. This is delightful. Carrying the mic over to Daniel. I'd also like to say thank you for this wonderful sangha. I can't get enough sangha. I'm also very involved with Sims, but I'm just so glad that we're all here together. Thank you. Um, I was at the very first um, it, meeting of Clear Mountain in, it wasn't Volunteer Park, it was Magnuson Park. And um, since then, just watching it grow, and actually there's a picture on the board back here of the very first meeting of Clear Mountain. And looking at that and seeing all of the faces that I recognize here now, um, I just have to say that before Clear Mountain, um, never in my life have I felt so listened to by other human beings. And it's not just the monastics, it's the, the people, the genuine connections that we have with one another and the sharing, and the sharing of generosity. Um, and I appreciate that, and I think a lot of us do. It's, I, I, think, I think that what has been cultivated here is something that feels really rare. Um, it seems like there's so, much, so many opportunities for disconnection in the world and, um, and um, to get to be together in, su in such a huge group, you know, and, and, and to be open and honest and um, uh, cultivating qualities of connection and generosity and, um, and um, compassion and uh, becoming better people to ourselves and to other people. This is, I mean, I've just never experienced such a thing in, in this way. And, uh, um, and however long we last on the earth, it, it feels like this is such a rare gift um, that we've got the chance to be, be in together. And, and I, yeah, this has been such a nourishment for my life every time I come here. And, and um, yeah, I just thank you. Thank you, Ajans, and thank you, everyone, for, for, for being a part. Yeah. I want to say thank you to Dave and Allison. I don't think Dave is here, but Allison is here. Dave, Dave is here, all right. Um, but yeah, they kind of made this possible in a lot of ways, um, hosting Aja Nisabo and Aja Kovalo. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's really hard to understate the number of lives you've changed and the, um, uh, and, and how much you've changed them. And I, I hope you can keep that at the front of your minds and, and sleep well at night knowing that. Mary, and um, I'm learning on the way. So my name is Mary, and I want to say hello to all my Zoom people. I made it live. I'm here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and um, 
you know, I had a, I didn't find the Dharma till I was 48. And I had, um, I found it to be the most beautiful thing in my life. And it changed my life. I can never do this because I cry. <laughs> so here's the thing. Now that I said that, I probably will be okay. But um, I had, and it was the most vibrant thing, and it brought me the most life and the most joy. And then as things happen, it was transient, and the sangha dissolved. And I had this huge hole and a sort of panic. And then... Ajahn Kovalo, Ajahn Misabo came and started Clear Mountain. And whether I'm on Zoom or whether I'm here, I don't. And um, I think this, this emotion is sheer gratitude for the teachings that both of you have given. They really go into my life. So I bow to you. I'd also like to say something. Um, I I also just can't express in a minute how how much um, this community has meant to me. Uh, I, looking back, I didn't I didn't think that I was lost, but I was pretty lost. And coming here and just starting to find a glimpse into um, what experience, even in this lifetime, can be is <coughs> astounding to me. And I'm like so. The depths of gratitude are um, so deep, and I know that everyone here feels pretty much the same way. Um, and if you're new, you probably will feel this way. So <laughs> just wait. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, it's just becoming such a, a bigger and bigger and bigger part of my life, and um, it it just grows. It's like being watered by all of your teachings. And thank you. Hi, I'm Suze, and um, I've been part of Seattle Insight since it started, and I want to thank Ajahn Misabo for your gracious extension of friendship to all of us, and I feel like our community of Dhamma has just gotten wider and closer, and um, just deep appreciation, and um, I don't miss a Saturday morning, because I just love coming, so... Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for being here, Venerables. Uh, I'm Angela, the one with the pony. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I met Ajahn Nisabo at Empty Cloud Monastery back in 2019 and was immediately struck by, struck by um, how much kindness that he held the Dhamma with and uh, the artful way that he shares it. And I knew then that I, um, he was a special teacher and then learning from him and Ajahn Kovilo these past four years um, I could go on and on, but I think one of the most important things that I've learned is that the best way to make a positive influence in people's lives and to bring people together is by sharing Dhamma. Um, and I've seen that in my own practice with my friends and in the enormous strength of this community. Um, so very grateful to be here and to be a part of it and to bring my pony into it. <laughs> Um, and so excited for the future of Clear Mountain. Vandana, are you online? You can go. Are you here? Thank you very much. Thank you so uh, much. I, I just uh, I would like to thank everyone and especially wait, Ajahn Nisabo uh, for being my uh, youngest Buddha. <laughs> So uh, when I first heard him on Facebook, um, he was, I, it's, it's just connected with my heart that, yeah, he, this, this is 
and like the Buddha was talking to me directly. And I live in California and I never uh, met with the teachers, but uh, I grew in my practice a lot since I uh, connected with Clear Mountain. Uh, Ajahn Kovilo, uh, he, he helps the daily meditation 4.30 a.m. in the morning. Sometimes it's very hard, but uh, <laughs> I have to push myself. No, <laughs> I have to do it. So I'm so, so grateful for this community. And now I'm also lucky to meet with the Ayas. They live very close to me, but uh, I just got to know them. But with Clear Mountain, I've been there for like now two years. And I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kwan. I born and raised in Thailand, and I've been Bud Buddhist all my life. I just want to say thank you, and I'm so proud every single one of you that be here today. I have a lot of American friends that they have questions about drama. With my English not so good, I cannot explain them. And here in Seattle, in America today, we have perfect English sp speaking monk. We have all American that understand drama. I'm so proud every single one of you. Hi, um, my heart's pounding, so it must mean I need to be doing this. Um, I just, my name is Julie, and um, I discovered Dhamma uh, with a 10-day Vipassana meditation retreat in 2018, and I did it all by myself, and I was so drawn, I had to go back and do it again, but when I came back the first time, uh, I was like a sponge, and I discovered Ajahn um, Jaya Saro, and um, I think he would be the only person present today to top this day off, but um, I just, I've been listening to you, uh, Long Core Pasano, since I got back from this first retreat, and I, I just can't believe I'm sitting here before you today, <laughs> in the flesh, I mean, you have no idea. <laughs> I've listened to all of your talks. Um, and I offer you to say that the time is now and it's never too late because I am definitely one of those of like, oh, I'm 46. Like, why didn't I discover this when I'm 36 or 26? But that's not how it works. <laughs> I know that um, everything has led me up to being here today. And um, Ajahn Kovilo and Ajahn Naba, uh, uh, oh my God, I'm so, <laughs> Nisabo, I'm so nervous, I'm sorry. Um, the humor that you bring to the Dhamma is so appreciated. And um, like, if taking intoxicants wasn't against the precepts, I'm sure we would, it'd be just so great to all just go get a beer together. Uh, <laughs> but I too have been sober for 10 years, so not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My name is Shelley, and I was recently in New York, and I was thinking about all these things that I didn't need, that I go to, I go to New York a lot, that I usually need, like I <coughs> need this certain jacket, or I need to have this certain meal, or see this certain person, and I kept thinking, wow, this is like really liberating. Where is this coming from? And I'm going to cry, too. I thought about you, um, Ajahn Nisabo, sleeping by the side of the road. <coughs> and you described that. And I thought, that's the renunciation that we're exposed to. And <coughs> week after week, it starts to seep in. I really, it was my metaphorical sleeping by the side of the road. And I am very grateful. And also, I want to say hello to Ajahn Kovilo, too, because I have learned many things from you also. And it is definitely never too late, so thank you.
Hi, I'm Barbara, and I just wanted to re reiterate what Julie said, Julie? That I really appreciate the humor in the teaching and the lightness because it just makes it so much easier to understand. Um, I've, I've had a lot of religious education that was not humorous or light. <laughs> And uh, this is so much different, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm actually going to go for just one more little bit, 30 seconds, because I was remiss initially. When I was in my I am lost phase, the ayahs were there. And I did retreat with the ayahs, but online and in person, and saving grace. Saving Grace. I want to thank you for your teachings, too. I w where did that Steve Wilhelm go? There he is. Hello. Yeah. So I wanted to thank not only Allison and Dave, but also the person that turbocharged, turbocharges all the spiritual networking in King County, Steve Wilhelm, <laughs> which is <laughs> really remarkable um, how he's helped Ajahn Musabo connect with so many communities. And it, it's, you know, every time I would call, he'd be in, Musabo would be in a car with Steve going to yet to another place, maybe to the temple, to the, <laughs> anyway, I wanted to say thank you. There's so many people here. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's been very meaningful to be part of this uh, whole aspiration for me. And uh, um, I really want to hold up. Um, Ajahn Kobilo is not here in person as much, but we are constantly texting and voice memoing back and forth about pretty much everything. He's at every Zoom meeting and um, has just been a uh, essential pillar of, of my holy life and of this entire project. And he can't be with us full time uh, yet, but come a year, hopefully he will be. And um, he's been just one of my uh, greatest brothers ever since we went on Tudong and slept in a uh, uh, prairie of poison oak together. <laughs> which is one one way to bond, Shelley. <laughs> um, and uh, and he was integral in p putting together the, or this whole thing. So Ajahn, thank you, and humbly doing so much. Um, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Uh, Long Propasano has been a guiding star for both of us. He ordained Ajahn Kovilo, and he's been uh, my kind of north star as well, um, even though I'm vaguely intimidated and terrified of him as <laughs> 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 even even as I love him <laughs> so, so we're we're so blessed and, and everything that's come here to Seattle has been uh, we we owe so much to Longpore so it's such a gift to have him here so if we could give three huge sadhus to Longpore sadhu 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 Ayananda Bodhi has been uh, just, we've been speaking to her regularly. We got to visit her at Aloka Vihara. And even though it's a new uh, relationship, it's one that we so value, Aya. And she joined our monthly online poetry group, which was great. And she's going to be right here in Port Townsend this whole, like until December and maybe beyond. Not beyond, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, even though she's on sabbatical, people can come and offer her, uh, offer the meal and support to her and Anagarika, Anagarika Bethany. That's such a precious opportunity. That is only about an hour and a half drive, two hours. Who knows these places? <laughs> it's two hours. Two hours. It's two. It's it's so worth it. She's right there, um, or there, right there. I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, please take advantage of that while we're here. If the Clear Mountain community can come together and support our, um, our Bhikkhuni sisters in this way. And uh, it's a great chance to talk to an amazing teacher. So 
I really encourage people to look into that. Um, the website, alokavihara.org, should have a page on that, and it's in our most recent newsletter as well, and it'll be in future ones. So please uh, come together, and if we could get three big sadhus for Ayananda Bodhi. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Aya Santusika and Aya Chitananda have been our bhikkhuni advisors since early, early on, and such good friends and guides and teachers. So we're so grateful that you made it all the way up uh, for this. And uh, we look forward to a long friendship for uh, yeah, many, many years. Thank you, Ayas. Three big sadhus. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And Anigarika Sarna and Anigarika Bethany, we uh, look forward to similar years of relationship and mutual Kalyana Mitta. Um, thank you. Three sadhus. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay. Um, <laughs> and um, just to give, uh, there were so many people who came together and supported this entire thing. We had people who, Daniel made the board in the back. We had uh, all of our board come together and put together um, everything, uh, Juanita and many others with the food. So our AV crew, uh, if we can just give three gigantic sadhus for all the volunteers who helped, um, that would be great, too. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.